Hello viewers, Rick here at Rick's Automotive. Today we're going to show you how to check the engine mounts on your V6, Honda, or Acura. So we've got this 2006 Honda Accord V6 with the automatic transmission. Uh, this applies to really any Honda or Acura with the V6 automatic transmission. Uh, the customer's complaint is the transmission shifts hard. It's got a harsh shift between gears and also when accelerating or taking off from a stop. Um, I drove the car. I verified the customer's concern. It definitely has a, a very harsh shift. Uh, however, the fault, the cause of that fault is not the transmission. It's actually the engine mounts. This car has two failed engine mounts. Uh, I'm going to show you just a couple quick checks you guys can do to uh, check your own engine mounts. You can start with just a quick visual inspection of the engine mounts. I started with the one on the passenger side because it's the easiest one to see. And just with a quick glance, you can see the rubber is deteriorating. It's starting to crack. In fact, it's collapsing and it's allowing this metal bracket to rest on the um, engine mount. All right, I'm underneath the car checking the transmission uh, mounts, the two mounts on the bottom of the transmission, the bolt to the subframe. Both of these appear to be just fine. There's no signs of any cracks or any separation. The front engine mount, it's pretty sealed off. Sorry, there we go. The front engine mount is pretty sealed off. There's um, not much you can really see. If these get really bad, they do um, leak some fluid out. So sometimes there'll be evidence of fluid. Uh, but the front and the rear engine mounts are pretty difficult to see. But there is one more test we can do uh, to, check, to check these mounts. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Before performing this next check, I'm going to go ahead and block the rear wheels. We're in the car. The engine's running. I've got my left foot pressed firmly on the brake. And my right foot, I'm going to um, actually give it some gas with the transmission shifted in the drive. Which is why I have the block in front of the rear wheels and the emergency brake is also uh, also engaged. Uh, that way in case my foot slips off, I'm not going to drive through my toolbox. Uh, so I'm going to shift in the drive. My foot is on the brake. I'm going to give it gas. And what I'm checking here for is uh, a thumping sensation while I'm sitting in the car, as well as excessive engine travel, which I can see the engine over the top of the dash here. It's moving quite a bit. That tells me the front engine mount is bad. I'm going to shift it in the reverse. My foot is still on the brake, firmly, giving it gas. I'm also checking for excessive engine movement here as well as a thumping sensation, which I don't have either in reverse. That tells me the rear engine mount is just fine. So we verified the rear engine mount and both of the bottom transmission mounts appear to be okay. Uh, the front engine mount is torn. Well, my suspicion is it is torn. We'll find out when we take it out. And also the rear engine mount, or I'm sorry, the passenger side engine mount is most likely torn. I'm going to go remove those mounts and we'll show you what they look like. Both engine mounts are removed from the car. This is the front mount. This is the passenger side mount. Uh, both of these mounts weren't doing anything really. There's a bolt that goes through this hole and there's a bolt that goes through this hole that connects the mounts to the engine brackets. Uh, when I was stepping on the brake and the gas at the same time and the engine was going up and down, uh, it's because this was just, it wasn't connected. There's was nothing connecting this. So it was just going for, <laughs> for going for a ride. Uh, nothing really, to, nothing really to stop it outside of the remaining three mounts in the car that are still good. Uh, so if you neglect these two mounts, usually it starts with the front mount. If you neglect this mount, it usually causes this mount to fail. And then if you neglect these two mounts too long, it'll go to the back mount and will start to fail. And then onto the transmission mounts. So uh, you want to address these before the uh, expense of the repairs uh, adds up. Um, also, there's a dust cover here. You can see, I pointed out it was cracked. You can see the print from where the bracket was resting on it, which was causing, you know, you pretty much felt everything the engine was doing inside of the car because there was nothing separating the engine from the mount on this one. It was just, the engine was resting on the metal, metal's connected to the frame, so you felt everything inside of the car. Uh, so if you're feeling, feeling a, uh, a rough idle, the engine appears to be louder inside of the car, and it's you know not an exhaust leak, but just it just sounds or feels louder. Transmissions shifting hard between gears, or you hear a thumping sound when taking off from a stop. Your most likely cause is an engine mount. So using those two quick, simple checks is how I determine the engine mount failure on this V6 Honda. Hopefully this video helped you, and if you liked it, even if it's just a little bit, if you could please subscribe to my channel, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.